Hey, what's up, guys? It's Selfie Druin, and I'm really, really happy. Um, let me just finish my popcorn, and guys, trust me, grab some popcorn. I love my popcorn. Uh, I put chili powder on it, and it's so good. Uh, not really butter. I just take the butter from like the bag. You know, like they put butter in the bag. So yeah, just grab your popcorn and do like me and eat, because this is a good commentary. So, um, that was gonna be my last piece. First of all, I decided to do a video commentary because I am so happy right now. Happy. So happy right now. So basically, I I only like told it to people on Twitter, but about um, two months ago, I applied for a job. And the job is a video game tester at a video game company called Beanox. Uh, some of you guys might not know them. They are an uh, undercompany from Activision. They did Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3, 4, they did Madagascar, all this. Well, the previous Spider Mans, the Spider Man of last year, X Man, uh, Gun. They, they did a couple of famous games. And um, they posted, they, they did like a publicity blitz everywhere, the newspapers, on the internet. And basically, they were searching for people of my age, students, who were looking for a summer job just to apply and they were gonna choose 100 of them so I learned that um, I learned about that contest and decided to apply and um, there's actually 2,000 gamers who applied that's so much and in those 2,000 gamers they decided to choose uh, 250 people and uh, in those 250 people they, they were gonna choose 100 so the way that they chose uh, from 2,000 to 250 is by just looking at our CVs, I don't know if that's a name, Curriculum Vitae, Vitae, you know, like the piece of paper where you see what you did in your life, blah, 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 and um, your, like, letter of presentation, so they checked that, but when it came to the 250 people left, they decided to do interviews, like a real-life interview, so I had to go, uh, I think the second weekend of March, I had to go drive three hours north and go to their head office, Binox, as I said, it's uh, under company from... Uh, it's an under company from Activision and it was a superb experience uh, I learned so much the building was awesome it was like all modern there's security guards everywhere for like this industrial secrets and everything about future games and it was really really cool they had like I don't know how many Xboxes but I was so happy being there and I learned so much so you know like the interview went well and everything I got a couple of good points like I had a you I have a YouTube channel uh, I wanted to work for them not for the money but to learn if I want to work in the gaming industry in the future because right now I'm studying at college and I don't really know what I want to do with my life so I told them that all that by the way guys this is a huge thing for me so um, as some of you guys know or might be guessing I got the job I got called one hour ago walking home from school after the bus I got the call I couldn't believe it I had to stop in the middle of the street my legs were shaking I was screaming then I ran home and just screamed everywhere in the house my dog was wondering what is happening what is happening master <laughs> uh, my brother was also here it's his birthday so I was just screaming of joy. I am so happy right now, guys. You guys cannot imagine how happy I am. And for the last, for the past two months, all my real life friends have been telling me, uh, Oliver. Well, my name is Oliver. Oliver, you're not. You don't seem to go well, like, feel well, on everything. You're not smiling as much as you normally do. I'm like, I know. Yeah, I'm just really, really anxious for this job. And to be honest, I've been thinking about the job every hour since that interview uh, when I'm in the shower I think about it sometimes when I do scrims I think about it uh, when I'm just surfing on Twitter or checking my emails I think about it at school I think always pardon me about it in class and it's literally my my dream job so I don't remember if I told it in the commentary but the job is a video game tester at Beanox it's a full-time job 40 hours per week minimum uh, in their busy weeks they can take you more than 40 hours to be honest I don't really care about the salary but just tell yourself that the salary here in Quebec is minimum ten dollars per hour so that's not that bad and I just want to have fun I just want to have a job that I can have fun if I would get paid five dollars per hour I would I would be happy because I'm just so happy about this uh, so yeah so some of you guys 
yeah. if you maybe I don't know thought about it, but as I said, their headquarters is three hours from his from here. My bad. I live in Montreal, and the job is in Quebec City. So uh, Quebec City has been known for the second most beautiful city in North America. It's the oldest city in North America. It's over. I think it was 400 years old in 2009, like they celebrated. 400 years old and when all the Europeans come here came here 400 450 years ago they all decided to like create Quebec City first and it looks a bit like the the kind of old part of Europe that's why a lot of people think that uh, that like wait I just lost my mind yeah people think um, I thought uh, people think that like it's the most beautiful city after San Francisco because of how, how it's done it's like super old but you also have the super modern kind of part it's the capital of Quebec the, the province and it's called Quebec City it's smaller than Montreal and it's three hours away from here so if you think about it this is a really 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 big thing for me I currently I'm 17 years old almost 18 in a couple of in one month I'm actually 18 years old in one month so uh, I've always lived with my parents. I always bought all my stuff, but still, I was always like fed, uh, fed, and was always my parents paid where I lived and everything. So this is a big, a big thing for me because I will have to move from here. I gotta find an apart. Oh my bad, popcorn. <laughs> I gotta find an apartment where I will have to live in. Uh, I gotta find that. I gotta pay for food, for gas. I'm gonna borrow my mom's car. So. Um, some weekends I'm gonna stay at Quebec City, some weekends I'm gonna come back to Montreal. So the job is in Quebec City, as I said. And it's just a big yeah. thing. I, I, I'm in love with Quebec City. It's so beautiful. Like the St. Lawrence River and everything. This might sound gay and everything, but seriously, this city is fantastic. And um, the people over there are really, really cool. They're actually cooler and happier than people in Montreal for many reasons. Like they are more polite and everything. They smile more. They're always happy. And I cannot wait to move there this summer. So uh, I finished school on the second week of May and the job starts on the, I think, yeah, the job starts, wait, let me check on my hand, June 13th. So that's about in two months. Uh, it's actually closed because I got to find an apartment and everything, but I cannot wait. Uh, of course, I will all bring my stuff, all my Xbox, my HGPVR, all my headsets, uh, my Mac, my monitors, my TV and everything. I really got to move everything so that I can continue doing uh, YouTube videos and this is a, a night job so I'm, I think I'm gonna work from 5 p.m. to 2 a.m. and I really don't care about that I'm, I've always been a guy that has been like living during the night I just like how it's calm during the night and uh, I'm just so excited for this like I'm so excited uh, I had like the biggest smile a human could ever get and uh, I'm just ready to being happy, I don't know, it just feels great after like one month, I mean two months of waiting for a response, a final response. Like right now if I could, if you would tweet me your your link on Twitter, I would retweet it, I would retweet whatever you want, I would do shout outs for everybody. Uh, like, I'm just feeling so happy, oh, whoa, I, I was like playing with the, the money from here, and my, my hands smell right now, I gotta eat popcorn. So yeah guys. I hope you're finished your popcorn that I told you to bring at the beginning of the commentary. For all those who are still watching and that are my loyal... Wait, I'm gonna finish my popcorn. Okay. Enemy that are my loyal subscribers. Thank you so much for all this. Um, I was I was planning on doing a French... Uh, um, a video, I mean a commentary talking about myths of French and French Canadian people. Like, I get off... Pardon me. I often get answered. Oh, no. I often get questioned. The answer, like people often. Oh my goodness! <laughs> people often ask me like questions about French and everything, and I thought I would kind of all respond to them in one commentary. For example, uh, do you speak English in real life? So commentary, I will probably do it for tomorrow. I will do it right after this commentary, but you guys will see it tomorrow. We are currently Thursday. After a super long day, I didn't even eat lunch. I didn't. Oh my bad. Um, I didn't even eat since 9 a.m. and it's currently 6 p.m. I'm, I'm just so happy right now. You guys cannot even imagine it. So I love all of you guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks to all of those who who support me and that actually watch the video t till the end because I know that my loyal subscribers actually care about me. So thank you to all of you guys. 
and I'm gonna let you guys on that. Enjoy your popcorn, finish your drinks, your soda, your coke, and have a nice day, everybody. I love you all. Peace. Why did you when we're done? Are you coming when we're done? Yeah.